All right, guys, welcome back to my channel. As promised, let's first of all, let's look at this shirt. Okay? That's what you need to do. You need to trust me. So, as promised, we are going to figure out and diagnose why this light will not come on and go off like a regular three-way. Have you ever been in somebody's house? And you know, let's say you go down the steps. Doom, 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 and you can't turn the light back on and you come back up. And all of a sudden it's like, you know, well, it worked down here. It won't work up there. Blah, blah, blah. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So you come, you go downstairs. And you go downstairs. Okay. And you turn the light off. All right. Let's say your wife is downstairs. And she's like, oh, the light switch. I need to go downstairs. Well, she turns it back up. She thinks it's on. So she comes downstairs. And you try to flip it up. Nothing happens. Oh, you see my head. So now you're like, um, okay, so it works up top, it doesn't work down here, but what's going on here, right? So you have no idea what's going on. Today we're going to diagnose and fix why and how to alleviate that problem, guys. Stick around. Alright, so that was a little corny, but anyway, you get the picture. I'm sure you've been one side of the kitchen or another, your wife or you, your husband, whatever, is flipping the switch, and the other side will not work. You can't figure out why, you get pissed off, you take all the switches out, you don't know what you're looking at, because all the wires look like, you know, like piano keys. You don't know what's what. So, what we're going to do today, is we're going to show you how to easily fix this problem that anybody can do all you need is a screwdriver you don't need two people but it's better to have two people obviously i'll have one person here and a meter of some sort with ohms on it stick around guys all right just like in my last three-way video we're going to make sure that my ugly mug is not in the picture the whole time because what we're looking at is these switches this is what we need to really learn how to do okay the first thing we need to do is make sure the power is completely off now i've already taken liberties and I know the power's off, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna diagnose this problem. Now, we don't know what switch is messed up here. Obviously I do, because I'm the one who did it, but uh, I'm gonna show you and tell you why it is like it is on this set and how I'm gonna fix it, okay? We're gonna go ahead and start, we're gonna take the switches back out. Okay, so with the switches out, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to take every wire except the ground wire off here. Why not the ground? Well, because you already know that the ground is ground. It can't be anything else. Now, it can be hot. I've seen it be hot before. Not on the ground screw, obviously, but I've seen it be hot and seen it be hot. I don't know if that even makes sense. I have seen it hot. Yeah, that sounds a little better. And um, so you need to make sure, but obviously I know for a fact that this is not hot because I'm the one who wired it, so... Okay, what we're going to want to do is we're going to take all these wires off the switch. Alright, we're going to want to separate all the wires too, right here. So go ahead and just separate them. Put the blacks and reds. Blacks and reds. We'll get them loose. Alright, so what we're going to need is a meter of some sort, like this one right here. And what you're going to want to use is ohms, okay? As you can see right there. There we go. Now nah, she's focusing. Okay. The little, I like the little, what looks like echo button. Now, it's ohms, but continuity rather. And I'll let you listen to what it sounds like, okay? So, what will happen is it'll say, oh well, open line. When you push your wires together, or your leads together, it'll say, okay? That's all it is to it. That way you know, you can visually see and hear, because you can visually see and you can hear what's going on. Let's get started, guys. Now, we're going to assume that there's drywall over here and all you have is just these two boxes and that is it. Because usually this will happen after the electrician leaves because he has no idea how to wire up a switch. I've seen this many times before and unfortunately it's a sad situation because, you know, 
the electrician wants to do good, but he can't because he don't know how to. Now, I'm not bad mouthing an electrician, I'm just saying it is what it is. So to find this circuit that's hot, you're going to have to turn the power back on, unfortunately, okay? So um, you can leave somebody at the panel in case you get shocked, or you can just be very careful. Now, I already know what the hot is, but since you don't, and maybe this is going on in your house right now, I'm just going to show you how to find it, okay? Remember, I separated every wire, so everything is loose, as you can see right here. I mean, you can, you can see, plain and simple, I loosened all the wires up. Nothing is touching anywhere, okay? So now what we got to do is we got to take that meter over there, and we got to put it on bolts. Now, if you have, if you have one of these, it don't have to be this one. You can use this, but I prefer a meter because uh, these will pick up like a lot of bleed off. And if you use a meter, the only thing it's going to pick up is the hot wire, guaranteed. Now you can go to your ground, but uh, you should always go to probably your neutral on this, uh, only because the ground may not be hooked up somewhere. It could have a broken broken ground and then you may think wait a minute maybe I don't have a hot here but then all of a sudden you find out the hard way that you do so let me show you how to use the neutral and the hot and all the wires in conjunction to get your hot wire okay now we don't know I know but we don't know what side's a hot one side's a switch leg okay and you may or may not know in your house that either so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna assume that we have no idea what's what here okay so we're going to show you exactly how to figure out where the hot is on this one. All right, so now with your meter, now this is, this is a meter that has all kinds of different features on it. All you really need to know is volts here, okay, AC volts. So we're going to go ahead and put it on here, okay, and we see that there's volts. Okay, I'm going to have to turn my light on so we can see, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to check, and I'm going to see if there's any voltage here okay now what we want to do is we're going to touch one lead it doesn't matter which one to the black wire since we know that the white is neutral uh, we want to go ahead and just leave it on there okay so just hold it on there and we're going to check each one okay all right we're going to check each one okay we have no volts there whatsoever let's move it over to the next switch okay all right we'll go back to the neutral try this wire first we have nothing we'll try this wire first we have nothing we'll try this wire next ah 122 volts so we know that that right there is our hot okay at this point we want to make sure that we remember what wire and where that is so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move it all the way to the back and move these all, all the way up here okay so we're gonna leave that one all by itself right now now we're going to go back to the panel, we're going to turn the breaker off and make sure that everything is safe. Alright, at this point what I would do, I would take a piece of black tape, like so, just so you're aware of what's what, and we already know the power's off. I would just take a little piece of black tape here and just wrap it around there, just so we know that this is the hot, alright? So this box now says to you, these are your travelers. That's your neutral. We can go ahead and put the wire nut back on this because we're done with this. Okay. You can go ahead and push that back in the box. Travelers and your hot or your common on your three-way, okay? Now we need to go there and figure out what's what over here, right? Okay. So this could be, you know, all the way across the room. This could be in the next room. This could be who knows where. So this is where two people will come in very good to play. But... Since we're obviously close, I'm just going to show you a real easy way. Now, we don't know what's what here, okay? We have no idea. But we do know that these two wires definitely are your travelers, right? So the best thing to do is to take straight... You can either straighten these out, which I'm going to do. So after you straighten them out, you'll want to go ahead and just put them together. Now, you don't have to... Um, I always said twist your joints there but this one you don't really have to do because you're just going to take us right back apart this is just to find so we do know this is the hot right because we put tape on it so this is completely out of play all you have left is these two wires all you want to do is put your wire nut put the wires make sure they're under there now you can twist them okay if you want to I'm not going to as you can see I'm just going to go ahead and put them under here and if you don't have wire nut you can tape them up but just make sure you tape them up good now you're going to come to your other switch. Now you have all these wires out here, right? We got to figure out 
your switch legs, and you got to figure out your travelers because we have no idea what's what. We already know the neutrals are neutral, so we can go ahead and put a wire net on that. Now, how are we going to find out exactly where your travelers are and where your switch leg is, okay? Switch leg is the wire going to your light right here, okay? So, all we have to do, we know we put a wire net on two wires over there, so we're going to have to find those two wires, right? So what we have to do with our meter is we have to put it on continuity right there. So we'll put it up there. We'll make sure it says OL for open line. And what we're going to do, why it's there, we're just going to go ahead and test our meter. We heard the beep, so we know it's working. All right, we're going to go ahead and we're going to take our leads. Doesn't matter which one you do. All right, we'll go to this one first, and we'll go. Because we know one over there is a red, right? That doesn't always mean it's going to be red over here, but for this purpose, it's going to be red. So we'll go with the black to black. What you're going to do is you're going to take your lead. You know there's no hot here. And I would just put your thumb right on it. Okay? And then do the same thing with this. No beep. We're going to go to this black to this red. Nothing. We'll go to this black to this red. Ah! There we are. So, just to make 100% sure, we know that these two are beeping together, right? Now, this will make quick work if you had a second person. You, somebody will walk over here and they'll take off the... Let me show you. Somebody on the other side will walk over there and take the wire nut off. You hear it beeping? Bam. Okay, now we know that's it. And you can do this. Okay, we know that that's the wires. So now we have our travelers, these two and these two. And we know that this wire right here is definitely 110% our switch leg. So now it's just a matter of putting the switches back on, okay? So, if you haven't watched my other three-way video, how to wire them up, you can look right up in there and you'll see how to wire up. But I'm going to go ahead and show you one more time right here, okay? It's pretty cut and dry, pretty easy. You have a black screw and brass screws right here brass and brass okay this is your common or your hot or your switch leg and these two are always your travelers every single time okay dollars do it so having said that we know we know where our travelers are we know where our hot is we know where our switch leg is let's start on this switch right here hook it back up all right these are our travelers so we'll put the hot on or the switch leg on first All right, there's that switch. Now we know this is our hot because we put we put a piece of tape on it, correct? So we'll go ahead and put that on first, and that goes on the black screw or the the colored screws, you can call it, I guess. It's not brass, so it's colored, I guess. It looks more like black to me. All right, we know that goes there. And like I said before, the travelers really don't matter. I'll go ahead and show you here. All right. Go ahead and we gotta bend our bins and our wire. As I unbent it, per se. And we'll push our switches back in the box. And now, guys, the moment of truth. All right, here we go. On three, two, one. All right, so far, so good. Bam. All right. Yeah, you can check the other switch again. Down, up, down, up, down, up. And just like that, guys, we fixed the problem. Now, what was the problem, right? People are wondering. So on this switch particularly, what I did is I purposely took the hot and I put it on a traveler side. So obviously it would only work when that traveler was switched to that one side, okay? 
pretty easy guys okay so you know there's so many more things I want to do and I want to just I, I want to do them but if you have a specific um, idea or whatever let me know guys in the comments below guys if you like what you see like and subscribe God bless and we will see you guys on the next one have a great day